It's Mr. Cruz, your band and orchestra teacher, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to play a one octave chromatic scale on the tenor saxophone, starting on middle C. If you haven't watched my first video about the chromatic scale, where I use a piano keyboard as a visual guide, please watch that video first. In that video I discuss and explain how the chromatic scale is a series of half steps in ascending and descending order. I also explain the concept of enharmonic equivalence. So please watch that video first. Um, it usually clarifies a lot of issues students have going into learning the chromatic scale. Uh, sometimes just reading the notes on sheet music is a little bit confusing for some students. Uh, understanding how the notes are assembled on the keyboard is very important first and it's a good visual guide. So please watch that video first. We are going to be playing chromatic scale number four from our scale handout. So if you don't have chromatic scale number four um, or the handout in front of you, please download that from hailbands.org. I left a link in the description below. Uh, once you're at hailbands.org, go to the very top of the webpage. There's a search bar. Type in chromatic scale tenor sax, and you should find uh, a list of PDFs for um, each instrument. Find the one for tenor saxophone, and download that one and we're going to be playing chromatic scale number four. So the chromatic scale, uh, the best way to explain what the chromatic scale is, is that it's you're playing every single note. It's every single note in Western music. Let's take a C major scale. If you're playing a C major scale on the saxophone, if you're playing a C major scale, okay, in between the, the notes that you were playing were more notes. Okay, uh, so for example, if you played C in your C major scale and then D, you would have skipped C sharp in between. Uh, in a chromatic scale, you don't skip any notes. Um, I can remember my middle school band teacher saying that when you play and learn a chromatic scale, you are now ready to play almost every song or any song written for the tenor saxophone or your instrument. So the chromatic scale is a very important scale to know on any instrument because it covers every single note. So the chromatic scale is a series of half steps in ascending and descending order. Uh, if we're going to play this in one octave, you're going to play a total of 12 tones or pitches. When you're reading your chromatic scale um, uh, on your scale handout, you are essentially playing 12 pitches, the 13th one being the octave above the note you started from. The chromatic scale on tenor saxophone is the following. C. Just your just your middle finger only okay you should already know you should already know at least two-thirds of these notes because you play them in your C major scale so C C sharp is open you don't press anything you don't press anything after C sharp is D octave key one two three one two three after D is D sharp all you got to do is play D and then throw in this pinky key right here closest to your ring finger. After D sharp is E, octave key, one, two, three, one, two. Then it's F. After F is F sharp and you play F sharp with the F fingering, octave key, one, two, three, one. And this ring finger key right here in between the the second and third finger buttons, okay? And I'm pressing that with my ring finger, so that's F sharp. After F sharp is G, high G octave key, one, two, three. G sharp, octave key, one, two, three. And this pinky key right here, G sharp. 
After G sharp, it's A, octave key, one, two. Then it's B or A sharp, octave key, one, two, and this bottom side key right here. You press it like this with the bottom of your, the end of your fin uh, pointer finger. Okay, you don't press it like this, A sharp. Okay, so it's again, octave key, one, two, bottom side. After A sharp is B, octave key, and the first finger only, and then C, octave key, and the middle finger for high C. So that's the chromatic scale ascending. Notice how when I set the scale going up or ascending, I said the sharp notes, okay, such as C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and A sharp. Next, we're gonna go down or descending. As we're descending, I'm gonna use the flatted notes, okay? So we're gonna start from high C. You already know that one, high C, octave key, middle finger. Then it's B, octave key, first finger. After B is B flat, octave key, one, two, and bottom side. After B flat is A, octave key, one, two, then it's A flat, octave key, one, two, three, and this pinky key right here, closest to your uh, ring finger. Then it's G, octave key, one, two, three. Next is G flat, octave key, one, two, three, one, and this ring finger key right here. Okay, that's G flat. It's the same as F sharp. It's the key that's in between the second and third finger buttons. After G flat is F, octave key, one, two, three, one, E, octave key, one, two, three, one, two. After E is E flat, octave key, one, two, three, one, two, three, and the pinky key closest to your ring finger. After E flat is D, just let go of the pinky. So D again is octave key, one, two, three, one, two, three. After D is D flat, open. And then the last note is C middle finger only. So that was your chromatic scale ascending and descending on the tenor saxophone. Those were all the fingerings. One, two, three. that are probably new to you um, and those are fingerings are very important okay for example um, G flat or F sharp let me go over that again G flat or F sharp when you play the chromatic scale on the tenor saxophone is octave key one two three one and this ring finger button right here between the second and third buttons on the on your right hand okay that fingering um, goes by several names some saxophone players We'll call it uh, fork F sharp, or side F sharp, or G flat, alternate F sharp, or chromatic F sharp, or G flat. Remember, F sharp and G flat are the same notes. It's really important that you play this alternate F sharp when you play a chromatic scale on the saxophone. The, you want to play this alternate F sharp on the saxophone is because if you don't and your fingers get sluggish and you play middle finger F sharp, okay, octave key, one, two, three, middle finger, if you play this middle finger F sharp, okay, you might get a blip of a G or an E when you play. So that was me getting an E in between the transfer between F and F sharp. Uh, other students get this sometimes. Between F and F sharp, they get a little blip of the G in there. Okay, so to avoid getting that blip, you want to play alternate F sharp or G flat. And I play 
play that with my ring finger. Again, that alternate G flat key is like playing F on the tenor saxophone, all right? Plus this key right here, all right? Between your um, second and third finger fingering on the tenor, on the right hand. Okay, so that's alternate F sharp or G flat. Another fingering that's really important to use on the tenor saxophone when playing the chromatic scale is side A sharp or B flat. That's octave key, one, two, bottom side. So on the right hand of the saxophone, okay, you have three, one, two, three, three side, side keys, three side keys. For, R, for A sharp or B flat, that's the bottom side key right here. Um, you need to use that fingering when playing A sharp or B flat. I used to do it when I was younger, and um, I see a lot of students doing this as well. Um, and they, they like to play A sharp or B flat playing this fingering right here, where your, where your index finger presses both the first button and this little button that we always skip. This is what's called bis B flat, B-I-S, like biscuit, bis B flat or A sharp, all right? You don't wanna play this fingering when playing a chromatic scale. And what students are doing is they slide or roll in and out of it, and that's not okay. And this is, this is a bad habit on the saxophone. When playing the chromatic scale, you must use octave key, one, two, bottom side. It's very important. Uh, the reason why you don't want to roll in or slide in and out of the bis B flat A sharp fingering is because if you get used to that and then you end up playing very fast and rapid music, that sliding in and out of the bis fingering is going to be really sluggish and it's going to slow you down. It's not the most effective fingering when playing fast, rapid passages between A sharp and B or B flat and D. So use side A sharp or B flat. The last thing I'm going to discuss in this video is um, enharmonic equivalence. You might have noticed that there were two note names for the same fingering or pitch. Those are your enharmonic equivalents. Again, watch the first video that I created using a piano keyboard as a visual guide. Um, your enharmonic equivalents that you're, um, when you play the saxophone are C sharp and D flat, that's open. Okay, you don't press any buttons down. D sharp and E flat, D sharp and E flat is octave key, one, two, three, one, two, three, and the pinky key closest to your ring finger. That's D sharp and E flat. The next enharmonic equivalent is F sharp or G flat, which I just taught you earlier. Okay, that's octave key, one, two, three, one, and this key right here next to your second and third finger fingerings in the right hand, okay? F sharp or G flat. You wanna use F sharp and G flat in chromatic scale passages or chromatic passages when you're playing your music. After F sharp G flat is G sharp A flat. That's octave key, one, two, three, and the pinky key closest to your ring finger. And then the last enharmonic equivalent is A sharp B flat, which we just um, talked about or discussed earlier in the video. That's octave key, one, two, bottom side. Uh, those are your enharmonic equivalents. You're gonna need to know those so that you don't confuse the uh, fingerings or lettering or spelling of the chromatic scale when playing the saxophone. So uh, that's the one octave chromatic scale on the tenor saxophone starting on middle C. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering why are you saying middle C? This is my low C. In fact, there are three C's on the saxophone. You have middle C, which is just the middle finger only. You have high C, which is the middle fingering C with octave key. And then you have low C, which is one, two, three, one, two, three, and this bottom key right here. So you have two pinky keys right here. It's the bottom most pinky key in the right hand. That's low C. So here's low C middle C and then high C for many saxophone players you we in beginning band especially we don't learn low C on the tenor saxophone right away the lowest C that you learn is actually middle C so that's what I want to kind of clarify and emphasize that is the one octave chromatic scale on the tenor saxophone we're going to end this video with myself playing the chromatic scale one more time
starting on middle C. Good luck and happy practicing. One, two, three.